Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I'd like to welcome you back to Hermitcraft. And yeah, first of all, check it out. Almost no more chests. <laughs> Still got the books here, and um, some stuff for a little project I want to do at some point. A little present for someone. And, uh, yeah. Well, not much to say, they've all moved, really. Um... The second big thing, which I'll show you right away, really, is I figured out what to do with the bridge, and what I figured out was I needed an arch. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I used a little program to figure out a parabolic arch, so I will put a link to that in the description, and I think it looks pretty decent. I think it definitely fits. You've got lots of vision through it. Don't have to worry about these long, lanky pillars. And uh, there's still a bit of touching up to do. Like there I have a stair block. And I don't think I'll keep that. I'll just have a half block. And the stair was so that it would meet up with the uh, nether fence surrounding the spruce wood pillars. The supports there. And I think the, the spruce wood and the... Nether fence looks pretty good together, nice and dark, sort of looks like old iron, and yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to say about it. I just followed the design it gave me, I put in the width and the height I wanted, and uh, then I added a bunch of half blocks to make it sort of more curved, and like I said, I'll take out those stairs there, and there's some funky stuff up there, like I can see there's uh, extra half blocks there which don't need to be there under the bridge and there's just little touching up here and there and I also added this pillar on the other side and that was well to match it visually and also I need something to support the platform that will be up there eventually and it definitely works normally I'm sort of against symmetry but you know that definitely I think it's pretty good except for the tree in the middle <laughs> Uh, I had to sort of build it myself, and I'm not too good at that kind of thing. <laughs> so I'll probably spend a bit more time at some point mucking about with that, trying to make it more tree-like instead of just a lump on a stick. But, uh, yeah, definitely happy with the arch. Although, maybe one day when I get tons and tons of bricks, I'll replace it with brick. Or, I don't know, I might just leave it. <laughs> I've already rebuilt it a few times. And that might be enough. But yeah, let's see, apart from that, uh, I've been just trying to touch up the base, making it look a little bit nicer. So I moved like this entrance to be in line with the arch there. So the middle is right here. Uh, these stairs down here, I moved them over to be in line with this egg collector here, which is filling up nicely. I already got four double chests full. And someone is going to get a explosion at some point. <laughs> and um, all this stuff in the chest, I moved it down to here. But truth be told, I'm not too happy with this place. Um, because you don't really get a view of anything. You just get these trees over there and some animals. So maybe I'd either have to build something there. That would look nice, although I can't think what. So if you have any ideas of what I could build there, that would make the area look nice. Uh, maybe some farms, you know, with a nice roof, something like that. But the other option is to move all the chests to a place where I get a better view of the base. Now, I don't know where that would be. It would probably actually be... Uh, quite near where they were before, but maybe I could extend a platform over here, so sort of dig out here. Oh, hole there. Hmm. So you don't really get a good view of it there. You only get a good view when you're actually in it. So, I don't know. What I'm finding is that the chests are kind of far away, having to take all these stairs to get down there, like I'm supposed to go down here. But I've already punched a hole here so that I can take a little shortcut and get in. So maybe this spiral staircase isn't the best idea after all. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe, oh yeah, 
That's what I should do this episode. I've been struggling thinking of what I can do. Uh, I could build a beacon. Yeah. Build a beacon and then I'll actually have a speed boost or something. And then it won't take so long to get around. Hmm. That's an idea. Uh, so yeah, apart from that. Oh yeah, one more thing that's, well, that's noticeable at least is I added some vines onto the mob trap up there. That was a viewer suggestion, and thank you very much. But it will look good once they all start to grow down and it gets sort of overgrown. And I might grow another tree in one of the corners to have more leaves sticking out of it so it looks really overgrown. But I think uh, I will keep the half block look because the light doesn't go through them yet. That bug hasn't been fixed, so... I don't know if they're ever going to fix it, to be honest. But yeah. No point really going up on the bridge. It's the same pattern as before. I did move it up a little bit. But uh, it's not too exciting. Uh, well, there is one other change, uh, which is that I ripped out all my potion room stuff, all my auto brewers, because, you know, they were glitching out and brewing uh, random potions, lots of awkward and mundane potions, not what I wanted. <laughs> And annoyingly, I used this design, or I started to build one that someone sent me, and it was an auto brewer. But unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. So that is quite annoying. And what's more annoying is that uh, the way it worked was. Let's see if I can just set one up to show you. Basically, uh, what he told me was, or the guy who made the design, in the past, where's that comparator? And this is what I've been struggling with all week, and I should have researched this, but because I've been trying different designs to make use of this mechanic, uh, or non, no longer exist, existing mechanic. But basically, so let's see, have I got any redstone? Yeah, redstone, redstone. There we go. Yeah, before, let's see, where's it going? It's going to there. So before, when you would put in one more item, it would light up the next bit of redstone. But now, it doesn't do that until you get it up to over 18 items, I think. Which is really annoying, because you can't, you know, uh, make an auto-brewer. The way it worked was, once all the potion or ingredients were used up, it would trigger the comparator, and then that would uh, trigger the next cycle. But it doesn't work anymore. So, I don't know. I've been trying to figure out different designs that don't rely on a using a timer. Because uh, my experience with using a timer did not go well. And, I don't know. I didn't look too hard, but I'm assuming there aren't many designs that don't rely on a timer. But if you know of one... Let me know, and I would gladly use it. But, yeah, that kind of put a hold on a bunch of plans. I wanted to start shipping them over to the Nether Hub and build a shop there. And <laughs> someone had a good idea to sell food, and I was going to sell potions as well. So the shop would be potions and pies. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> that's not going to happen until I get some sort of auto-brewer thing. So just quickly, while I'm mentioning the nether, we'll just hop over there and see the little bit of progress I've made on blasting away all of the uh, all of the terrain so that I can get the, what's it called, the wither skeleton farm to actually work. I'll just go over there. I don't have any feather falling, so I've got to watch out though. And yeah, I've spent a bunch of time up on this island here, just blasting away. And yeah, it's it's taking some time. The annoying part is just having to go and pick off all the little remaining blocks. And uh, every time there's a little remaining bit, you have to you know build over to it and knock it down, and then knock away the path you've made. And I don't know, I had a bad experience here. I lost my best diamond boots in the lava. Yeah. I was in the lava just as my fire resistance ran out, and, uh, yeah, I burned to death. <laughs> uh, 
And that was just after I'd enter pearled uh, into a wall and died before. So I enter pearled into the wall, suffocated in it, and I got a bit annoyed and came back with my good feather falling boots, and of course I lost them. So, sort of annoying. Um, yeah, but the spawn rates are slowly going up down here. If we look down, there's three, four things down there. <laughs> Which may not seem like many, but it's a lot more than I was getting in the past. And it will all slowly pick up speed. Oh, I can see there's some pigmen down there. The lava down there is still going away. And, you know, I took that away quite a while ago. So, like the lava up there is going to be there for days still. So that's sort of annoying. But, just thought I'd let you know that I am slowly... Slowly working at it. Oh, and there's pigmen up there. I just want to go and quickly check where they're spawning at. Okay. Ah, okay, this isn't half blocks here. Or is it? Yeah, along this edge here. Okay, still have to half block there. Oh, I guess anywhere where there's torches, actually. Hmm. So just covering this over should increase the spawn rates down there a bit, too. All right, so I think that's most of these areas half blocked now. Don't think I need this little stair thing anymore. God, of course I can see so many other places I need to do. <laughs> I have no idea how Doc M did his perimeter base. Must have uh, worked like a madman to get that done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so having these chests is kind of nice. You know, just knowing that I can just dump everything and it will... Well, I can't dump everything. I sort of have to uh, organize it, but... At least I have a place to organize it now, more or less. Still learning where everything is supposed to go. But... Uh, getting there. Slowly but surely. And I think I'm going to build a beacon. Because, um, yeah, just for a speed boost, I think that would be pretty cool. And I don't know how many iron blocks I need, but I've got a bunch here, and I can go and steal more if necessary. Bunch there. Actually, I'll cook up uh, some of that. Okay, that means I'm going to need some coal, so that means I need some... Fortune, yes, I have fortune, and some furnaces, yeah. Hmm, yeah, I, I really didn't think this storage room through, because there's no, no room for furnaces or anything. I'll just plonk them down here for now. Uh, four should do. Get a bit of coal. Oh man, this is almost out. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Hmm. I thought I had another one. I'll check. Nope, not there. Oop. Ow. Let's go to the tree farm. Boing! <laughs> yeah, so I put in a little lake here. And there's a sort of diving board there. I'll have to build up under there. Not too sure about these stairs yet. Uh, although just while I'm here, obviously got some lag going on. Can start to put in the fence. Let's see, just to get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Yeah, that'll be good. And is the fence going to work up here? Because I only have a one wide gap there. And I'll have to put in some uh, stone slabs. Not stone. Uh, yeah, stone brick. Stone brick, that's the one. Make this wall out of stone brick, I think. Just so I don't have fence floating in the air. Or put stairs under it to hold it up or something. Oh yeah. This is how I work. I just randomly do bits here and there. <laughs> Let's see. Just have a little quick look, look-see. Um, 
Yeah, that is terrible. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm just showing you it when it's done. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh yeah. Well, tree farm has come on a little bit. I think this part's pretty much done. Uh, the oak farm is just driving me mad, actually. And I won't get into that now. I'll just show you when it's all done. I'm going to tear all this out. I, I don't know what I was thinking, really. I'm trying to get too much out of it. And I have to make a compromise somewhere. But I'll just quickly show you, actually, while I'm here. The problem with the oak is that... Um, Unlike the birch trees, or the uh, spruce wood trees, if I put solid blocks on the side, give me that fence back. If I put solid blocks on the side like that, and then grow the tree. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Ah, yeah, here we go. You still get leaves at head height. And that's really what I wanted to avoid, so I was thinking... I would grow them all on this row of pistons here, and then when I wanted to harvest them, I'd pull the pistons down, and that way the leaves wouldn't be in my face. Uh, but because the pistons are there, it makes powering these rails really difficult, because if there's a lever sort of underneath this... Well, not underneath that block. But if there's a lever at this height, like the same height as this one, next to the pistons, then it will screw up the pistons, and they won't descend again, so I had to move them over one block, and, oh yeah, I don't know. I ended up with this squiggly rail thing, which just looks horrible when you look at it, you know. Unlike this one here, which looks really nice, the uh, 3 by 3 or 3 wide squiggle just looks horrendous. So, I don't know what to do with this oak farm, I'll probably just rebuild it again and again and again. Until I get it right. Can I sleep? Oh no, Joe Hills is here. Joe Hills. Howdy, y'all. And fortune is what I wanted. And do I have one? No. Oh, I got a fortune shovel. Man, that's bad news. Oh no, I got one right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Bad news turns to good news. <laughs> Anyways, I, yeah, well, forget about the tree farm. I'll talk about it some other time. Yeah, I'll just uh, get everything ready and we'll do a, a uh, what's it called? A triangle of power. A, uh, I can't remember, a beacon. Beacon... So, what I have to do is figure out sort of where the center of my base is. I think, I guess it's uh, somewhere around here. It has to be able to reach up to the ceiling, to the top. Um, I don't know, because it shoots that big beam up into the sky, it's going to be sort of annoying to place it properly, I think can't just hide it underground. I could have it shooting up under the arch. That might look a bit funky though. I could have it in front of the arch. Uh, maybe I was going to say going through the tree, but then I wouldn't be able to go through the tree myself. Or would I? Oh yeah, maybe it goes through a hatch. I don't know. I, I don't really want to risk it in, in case it doesn't. Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh. I know what I could do. I could if this tree here, if I turn this one into a three by three, I could have it shooting out the middle. And then let's see, would it be able to get out the top? Because I don't really want to see the beam of it. Yeah, it would. Uh, but I'd have to put it, make this the center of it here, I think. Yeah, okay. So I'll just put it here. And, okay. Let's see. 
All right, so I'm not sure exactly how big these things have to be, uh, but I'll just start building. So there's one there, and then I'll go out one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then fill all in the corners there. Oh, corner missing there. I hope this isn't too big. It looks about right. From what I remember. I haven't researched this at all. I don't even know how to make a beacon actually, so that should be pretty funny. I have a feeling... Oh, that probably is right. I think they are quite wide at the base. But I'm not going to have enough iron blocks. So, uh, we are going to go and do a thief mission and steal like a thief from DMAC. <laughs> Because he is loaded. All right, so I'll see you at Dmax. Okay, so here we are at Dmax. It's annoying his cat a bit. Meow. <laughs> oh, I still need a cat. Okay, how do I get down there? Probably gonna mess this up. That looks good. Oh. Oh, what a pro. Okay, so go in his secret entrance. Oh, or... Oh, don't end a pearl into the wall. There we go. Oh, take some damage. There's a whole bunch here as well, so I can kill them. Let's see. Oh, got a few stacks. But I happen to know where his super secret entrance is. Yeah, so DMAC really should be careful in his videos, showing you where his secret buttons are. <laughs> well, I've already been here and stolen one, but I messed up the recording. And I want to steal another stack, too. So, um, yep, I'm a thief. Deal with it. <laughs> no, I'll pay him back somehow. One day. Not that he's ever on here. Okay. Alright, so I've been over to D-Max, I've stolen a bunch of iron, it wasn't that interesting, so I don't think I'll show you. And I've also realized I should probably do some research, because I dug a hole here, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, sort of in a random place. And also I was thinking about only having one beacon, but of course I probably want four, which will be two by two. And, oh, just saw a creeper fall down there. <laughs> there he is. And I think a good place to have it then would be right in line with the portal there. So the portal is there. And let's see. Come over here. Get in line. And I think the tree is right in line with it. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it does. Now this enchanting station will get moved. So I just want to check something. Because I don't really want to have the beams, like, on full display, as it were. Uh, I sort of want them to be hidden. But I guess seeing them would be good as well, so... I just wonder what happens if I have a, a 4x4 tree. If that looks far too big. So, I guess it could be the base of the tree as well. I probably need to get a bit more jungle wood for this as well. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I guess it doesn't have to be 4x4 four four, really. It can be uh, sort of, you know, covered up. And then that would be... Nope. Oh, need a bit more wood. That would be there. Oh, can't even build on that, right? Yeah, that, that would be okay. Big, chunky tree there. Of course, it will burn down because of that lava, but that's okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll have it in line with the portal, which is this here. And so the biggest portal is 9 by 9 at the base, but if I want 4 on top, then that would be 10 by 10. And how many high would be that? Uh, how many... 
How high would that be? Uh, four levels high. So, let's see. If I want the beacons to be there. No, I probably want them to be one higher, actually. But that allows me to work backwards. So, the middle would be there. One, two, three, four. Have my four beacons on there. And then go down here. And do the next layer. Which would be... Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, a bit of rain. Yeah. Two, three, four, and done. Whoa, a bit of thunder to go with it. Summoning the gods here. Oh, I hope I don't bump into anything. Oh, it doesn't have to be that high, that's okay. And done. Just get the corners in place first. Hope that's not going to go outside. Nope. And I hope I have enough iron. I think I do. Or else I'll have to go back and steal more. <laughs> and I have got some cooking up as well. Yeah, okay, like that. Fill that in. Okay, and then... Yeah, then do the next double. So I'll do the same thing, and I'll show you when that is done. Okay, well that's that done. I'll put some lights down here for now. And I think I want to go out this way. Oh, got a shovel. Yeah. Okay, and now we get to make a beacon. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Uh, so... <laughs> Ooh, man, where did he come from? Stay back. Ah, whew. I could have been killed then. Where did he come from? It seemed like he wandered out from back here. Hmm. I don't know, whatever. That's another reason why I don't want all those chests just there. A little bit dangerous and unprotected. I need some sort of doorway to get in. Although I could just move them back a bit. But this is definitely good beacon making weather here. Okay. So. Here we go. May as well make two right away. Joe Hills is left. Beacon. Beacon. Thank you, Lord of Thunder. Come on, let's get a lightning strike for the beacons. Come on. Come on. Mm, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Feel much safer now. Right. Oh, I have to get rid of this tree, otherwise they're not going to work, are they? Oh, I have to get rid of the whole tree. <laughs> okay, a little bit premature, but I can start to stick them down. <sighs> oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll go and get rid of this tree up here. Come on. <sighs> See it light up. Why didn't it light up? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong here? Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh well. I don't get it. Oh, I think I know. I think I figured it out. I've messed this up. 
Okay, now this should work. Okay, that's one down. Two down. And... Lightning... Oh, it's gonna stop. No. Oh, yes! <laughs> Towers of power. Awesome. Oh. Alright, so now what do I do with these? Oh, I'm still missing a lower level. Speed. I don't, I don't know what these do. Regen. What? How do I change it? Speed and jump. Or haste. I'll try speed and jump. Oh, no, okay, that's not doing anything. Oh, I need some something in there. What? More? What? Speed. Oh, okay. Don't have any speed yet. What the hell? What am I doing wrong? Speed done. Regen. Speed! Alright, there we go. So we'll put speed and jump for now, just to have some fun. Okay. Speed and jump. Wow. <laughs> that is much better. Okay, a bit dangerous, but much better nonetheless. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Alright, so better finish building that tree. <laughs> well, it looks like a big tree. <laughs> it seems like a bit of a shame, really, to cover them up now, so... Maybe I'll rethink that idea. Maybe have a 2x2 two two tree on each side. And then you'd be able to see through. Uh, the other thing I was thinking is if you have little windows in it. Uh, I don't know if that would work too well, though. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, let me know what you think. Well, I think that's all I have time for. Uh, yeah, so I will see you soon. I'm just going to jump myself to death here, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing that in no time. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.